My name is Meg Brinker, and Cincinnati Children saved the life of my unborn son. We got to 20 weeks of pregnancy at the doctor's office, the ultrasound tech. We saw that his bladder was distended, and they said that he had posterior urethral valves. From the first diagnosis to when I had fetal surgery, that was about a two-week span. If we did nothing, chances are he would not live much past birth. My surgery was at 7 that morning, and um, to be honest, I was on my knees praying in the bathroom. The very fact that they were able to communicate the experience and the knowledge so effectively with us, I think that really helped us. I I'm spoiled. They're 20 minutes from my house, so I wouldn't have gone anywhere but Cincinnati Children's. But when you go up there and you spend some time at Cincinnati Children's, you meet people from all over. So you know if they're traveling from overseas, if they're traveling from Minneapolis and Philadelphia, why are they doing that if it's not the best care that you can get? It's not as if fetal care is available uh, you know, through the fetal care center and fetal surgery. That's not available everywhere. The very fact that we were just 20 minutes away and easily had that continued care easily accessible to us was such a blessing. That just really gave me a comfort level. We celebrate two birthdays for Aiden. We have a half birthday, and that's the day he had fetal surgery, and they brought him halfway out. And then there's May 19th, which is the actual day that he was born. I believe that Cincinnati Children's enabled Aiden to survive through the fetal surgery. I, I can't help but smile when I say Cincinnati Children's.